Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and other stuff the world can use. And one of those things I know you could use is an iPad mini. I'm giving this away on Christmas Day, and all you need to do is follow me on Instagram. It's really simple. Instagram.com slash Chris Perillo. Did you see this awesome photo I took yesterday? Uh, 473 likes so far of that. iOS versus Android. Which one's better? According to me, both. It depends on what you're measuring. And if you're one who claims that one platform is clearly better than any other, well, we're gonna have words. There are so many facets to this conversation. It's impossible to say one is clearly better. And as I've stated before, we need competition. Let me put it this way. If it wasn't iOS versus Android, you would hope it was two things against one another. Otherwise, it's like cornflakes without the milk. WinX DVD Ripper Platinum makes backing up DVDs easy. And if you would like a copy, here's what you gotta do. Head over to the article on LockerGnome.com as we've linked for you in this video's description, like we kinda do for links every day. Scroll down to where it says giveaway and you can see we're giving away 30 free copies of this software and all you gotta do is comment. And it looks like, well, we just published the article so there are zero comments right now, but uh, that's all you gotta do. Just be one of the people to comment and we'll pick you guys at random. Unless you like paying for software, in which case, well, knock yourself out. And speaking of getting free stuff, remember go.tagjag.com slash free apps where you can generate points to get iTunes gift cards and Amazon gift cards. This has previously been available just for iOS, but if you head over to that link, you can now get access to it on Android too. Unless you like paying for gift cards, in which case, knock yourself out. And while we're on the subject, I just tried this one last night. Go.tagjag.com slash free slots. You head over there on iOS alone, and you can spin the wheel. And then what happens when you spin the wheel? Well, it's not really a wheel, I guess it's a slot machine. You will get points, oh my goodness. I just got 2,500 credits. Now those credits can be added up and then exchanged for applications that would normally cost you money in the App Store. For instance, last night, I got the Angry Birds Star Wars edition for free. Thanks again to go.tagjag.com slash free slots. Unless you like paying for apps, in which case, knock yourself out. I've been knocking myself out a lot in this video. Would you be more inclined to buy a Mac made in the USA? Apple's going to be spending $100 million in order to bring production of some of its Macs to the States. That's a pretty big deal. I mean, not just for jobs, but for the economy in general. Hasn't it been the trend that we've been going offshore to get stuff done? Not that I have a problem with going offshore at all. It's just kind of nice to see Apple doing something like this. If you take pride in buying products that are made in the USA, would this decision sway you? Or at least convince you to buy a Mac? Is that a 19-in-1 multi-tool in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? And if it's not in your pocket, we can change that with a Swiss Tech Micro Max 19-in-1 keychain multi-tool review. Got a couple of hex wrenches, some screwdrivers, pliers, bottle opener, wire cutter, and stripper. Comes with a stripper? A wire stripper. What do you expect for $10? It's a perfect stocking stuffer. Do you know of any other things I might stick in someone's stocking this Christmas? How to turn your desk into a touchscreen. And we're not just talking about touchscreen computers. I mean, turning your actual desk into a touchscreen. This is the device that makes it possible, an augmented light bulb. And there's a picture of the Luminar in action. You see how it's beaming a website onto the surface? And I don't mean the surface for Microsoft. I mean the surface of that kitchen countertop. I got my iPhone 5 for free, not paid top dollar for this thing. I don't get everything for free. And when I do get something for free, I usually have to send it back. And when I don't have to send it back, I'll still have to say, hey, so-and-so sent it. Blogging should never be about freebies. And here's a good quote from the article. If your business model is based on getting freebies, then your credibility is basically zero. It's nice to get things sponsored. I get things sponsored all the time, and I look forward to getting more things sponsored. Otherwise, I would go broke. I pay for a lot of apps, I pay for a lot of hardware, and I pay for a lot of experiences. And so far, nobody agrees or disagrees. You see that? It's the Windows 8 lock screen. You hate it? We'll show you how to turn it off. And I don't just mean swiping it away. I mean actually showing you how to never see it again. This is obviously not that screen. It is a screenshot of the local group policy editor. You can actually toggle a lot of settings through that tool. But you know what they say, be careful about what you toggle, Thanks to MobileRoadie.com, we have our free Locker Gnome app available for both iOS and Android. And yes, we are working on pushing down an update. I just don't know when it's going to happen because we're kind of on Mobile Roadie's schedule. Either way, 
Awkward Josh 95 isn't very awkward today. He is our top engager inside the app. Richard Stallman calls Ubuntu spyware because it tracks searches. I think it was actually a pretty good move that they added the Amazon feature into Ubuntu. I mean, why not? If you like Ubuntu and you didn't pay for it, I mean, shouldn't you be willing to donate something? Larry Page providing free flu shots to all Bay Area kids. Thank goodness I'm not a kid and I never take flu shots. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. iPad mini launches in Beijing to small crowds. I guess the world doesn't want you, buddy. Honestly, the iPad mini is just another tablet. If a user has a tablet or there's a more affordable option out there, why would they need the mini? Microsoft reportedly moving Surface into additional retail stores within days. Apparently the Surface with Windows RT hasn't been selling very well, and I honestly do not expect the Surface Pro to sell well at all either. Although I do plan on getting a Surface Pro. Uh, here's the thing. The Surface with Windows RT is priced competitively to uh, like stand against the iPad or potentially the Nexus 10. And the Surface Pro is priced competitively against the MacBook Air, and I, I don't know if it's going to succeed in either camp, because they look the same, the Surface Pro and the Surface with Windows RT, but they're running a completely different OS, and the hardware's almost completely different, and they're different prices, and they don't know what they want to be. The Surfaces don't know what they want to be. Are they a laptop? Are they a tablet? Are they a laptop? Amazon Kindle app downloads have grown more than 500% over the previous year. And speaking of Amazon Kindles, I've got a couple on order. Thanks to a sponsor, go.tagjag.com slash online backup, and you can get unlimited data backup for $2.98 a month for a year by going to that link. And I'll be unboxing those Kindles live on YouTube once I've set up the links. Don't worry. You will know what they are because you'll see them on my Google Plus page and Facebook and Twitter. And I'll also send a push notification to those of you using the Locker Gnome app. Uh, so, yes, stay tuned for some live unboxings and then subsequent reviews and other fun stuff. We'll just see if the Kindle series is improved over the first version. Our question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Use the coupon code 599CHRIS when you check out to get three domains all together for $5.99. And the question is, have you seen the new layout for YouTube? Why, yes I have. And if you're asking if I happen to like it, yes I do. I believe with this update, they have improved usability and discoverability, and that's good for people like me who produce the videos. We wanna be discovered, especially if you've already subscribed to us. So they've made some changes that should make it easier to see more of the stuff that we're making for you. And hopefully you like that, and yes, you can still like videos. And I'm guessing we're also going to see a bump in subscribers now that they put the button there. And I think we're going to see more subscribers, too. I have 231,000 of y'all? Why do I never get that many views on a video? Or that many likes? Could be that I've done over 5,200 videos. And in terms of discoverability, if you tap the button over in the left-hand corner, you can more easily see your subscriptions from any page. Even from your Larry page. Sorry, that was, that was a bad pun. I also like that YouTube's now including avatars next to your comments. Seems like a lot of you are blue guys. What do you guys think about the update? Leave a comment, even if you are a blue person. And of course, don't forget to like and share it if you like it and share it. That'd be great. Because we can only do what we do for you if you reciprocate, right? Yes, we appreciate your attention because we're giving you our attention. And we've got this nice little circle of life going on, Simba. Have a good day and a good life if we don't see you again. We'll eat you later.